you're here today. We got a special edition. This is the Father's Day edition of Luchi Land. I'm sitting here with my son Dre. I call him Luchi Land Dre, but his name's Dre. What are you gonna do? We're gonna do a new video today, and it's gonna be something that he's never seen before, which is gonna be equally as fun for me as it would be for you if I never saw the video before. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your homies, do all of that. Like my dad say, said, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Oh, the notification bell. That's right, I forgot. Because if you hit that bell, then you're going to get to see all the new Luchi Lane content that we put out every single day. All right, so what we're going to do is listening to Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle. So I'm going to welcome a little child into the 80s rock era. I'm only nine, so new to me. Very new to you. Well, or should I say very old to me? No, no. It's very Is old. It very new? It's very old to all of us, Dre. Right? But it's very new to you. True. Tell us how you feel in the comment section about that. You know, I haven't played a <laughs> game with the 80s music. Remember, we would play. Yeah, it could be helpful. But I'm pretty sure Guns N' Roses is on GTA. I don't let my son play GTA. Yeah. But... It might be in the soundtrack. Man, let's check this out, bro. Happy Father's Day to all you respectable fathers out there. We appreciate you. I appreciate you. He appreciates me. In turn, the world goes round. Welcome to the jungle. Guns and Roses. Here we go. Look at the young Axl Rose. You got the little trucker hat to the back. You got a piece of wheat in his mouth, which leads me to believe he's from the Midwest. I've never really watched a video like this <laughs> to where I could see it and like, you know, I've listened to the song a hundred million times. But seeing Axl Rose with a piece of wheat in his mouth, I feel like he's still got eyeliner on to it. I'm not sure. Call me crazy. Let me know about it in the comment section. Do what you gotta do. But this is young Axl Rose. Young, what's, young. What's going to happen next? I hate to pause it again, but I do want to talk about... I think that's a suitcase. It looks like it's made out of like wood and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it possibly could have been made out of wood, son. But what it looks like to me is what Amazon ships a bed in 2020. Um, it's crazy. 2000. Uh, 2020, yeah. 2020? Like, right, that's where we are right now. You didn't know no, that? No, it's 2020. Not 2000. Oh, kids. We love them. But look, <laughs> how you get straight off the bus and just run into this random dude in a leather jacket? What in the hell are y'all talking about? I mean, yeah, I'm imagining it's not scenery <laughs> because who sits in front of a Greyhound bus stop just chilling, waiting for someone to come off the bus. Axl Rose is... He amazing. Is a, well, he, yeah, he's amazing. I know that. But, like, he is a victim right here. This man been waiting on the bus station for lots of people and probably did a lot of bad things with these people. But, I don't know. The box is what gets me. That That's a suitcase. That's made out of, like, remember, wood. Remember our suitcases? Like, they roll on wheels and, like, they're real tiny. And, like, yeah, like the new suitcases. <sighs> Let's get on with this. People want to see the song. Slash. Slash? Yeah. And pretty dope name. It's pretty dope, but he slashes the guitar. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's why he named himself Makes that. Makes sense. But he's probably one of the best guitar players on earth. I believe that to be a fact. He always has a hat. He always has a hair. Always. 
Giants forever. That's the way he's been. But let me ask you a question. Because I noticed Slash, when, I, when I'm checking Slash out, I notice he has leather pants. And I notice Axl Rose has Slash's girlfriend's leather pants on. Um, what do you think about leather pants? I mean, it would match my leather coat. And I would be pretty okay with leather pants. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wearing leather stuff. Well, you have extra swagger. Compared, yeah. compared to regular individuals, you have swag. So, you know, this was... There, this was extra swag back in the 80s when these guys were out. Extra swag. So, do you think right now that you get away with wearing leather pants and have swag? Yeah. I mean, in the old times, it is like swag, but it can still be swag right. up to here. The old times. Let's note that. The old times. Okay, so in the old times. It's been swag. But it could still be swag, like, up to 2020. It's still pretty swag. I mean... So are you, you told me, you're telling me leather has come back. Yeah. Whew. He said the old times. Like, I feel, I feel like my son feels like when I was young, everything was black and white. Do you? No. <laughs> Just making sure. But the co- but we didn't have much color back then. Like that. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious, Dre. We did. Let's get back to the video before we get off track. Let's take it back a little step here. And look at Slash right there. Best guitar player of all time. Hands down. Welcome to the jungle. quick as possible, but Dre's growing his hair out right now, so he can get it done like Axl Rose. No? Mm-mm. Is that not true? <laughs> no. Why? You have such beautiful hair. Well, you, you but the color wouldn't be the same. Yeah, but look at his hair, though. I'm not talking about the color. I'm talking about the volume. Nah. That's not the same, not the same swagger? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope, that's not That's swagger. different swagger. Fun and games. We got everything you want. Slash's girlfriend's pants. And maybe maybe Axel woke up, had a long night, and accidentally put them on. But yeah, I think you're right. They're very tight. Like, way tighter than... like Razor Wiz- pants. Yeah, they were like Wiz Khalifa skinny jeans or something. <laughs> or, yeah, that might be an old reference, but I don't know. Yeah, you're right. They're too tight. They look like leather yoga pants. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of weird because when it comes to the concrete jungle, those kind of things happen. In the middle 
of that scene though. I couldn't tell who was the girl and who was the boy. Did you see? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> there was there was three dudes. Oh wait, no, there's two dudes, one blonde chick, and they all had the same length hair. It was kind of hard to tell who was who. That's the way it was in the 80s, like, you know, I'm telling you, in the 80s, dudes used to wear yoga pants. They had leopard print on them, like tiger print. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe they didn't they, have, <clears throat> like, scissors to cut their hair back then. Wow. <laughs> it was so long ago that we have not invented scissors yet. <laughs> we had all kinds of scissors, right? Just nobody cut their hair. This is the thing to do. That's what was cool, you nobody know? Nobody ever cut their hair. Well, I cut my hair back then, but these guys, yeah. they're were, they were rockers. Like, back in the day, like, what you wanted to do if you were a rock star, you wanted to, like, wear leopard print pants, get long hair, wear eyeliner, kind of like girls, but that's just, you know, that's what it was. They're, they're rock stars, though. <laughs> they made a bunch of money. They didn't care what people thought. In the jungle, welcome to the jungle, welcome to the jungle. songs until they're 80 if they would have just been able to stick together but these guys you know they, they couldn't make it work but so why did they like give <clears throat> up oh there's a lot of reasons son and i can't tell you you're too young to understand <laughs> or not to understand but to just for me to tell you what happened because there was a lot of stuff going on you know axel rose was a crazy guy and you know the rest of the band didn't agree with it but some of the other bandmates fell off for other reasons but it's not important. If they could have stuck together like glue. They would have been a great band. Epic. Epic band. Legendary. Legendary, Mythical. exactly. That's exact. No, not. Yes. Yes. Mythical. Could have worked. Iconic? Yeah. Huh? Iconic? Definitely iconic. They're still iconic. Right, he, yeah, he's sitting in an electric chair watching like TVs, which leads me to think brainwash. Like this guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's how they brainwashed. Yeah, he was very innocent when he stepped off the bus, and now he's here. You know, so it's pretty crazy, right? I mean, if we look back on it, like th that's Wait. not brainwash. Wait, maybe <laughs> maybe they're turning him into the actual ones like right now, like like the rock star one. 
Well, maybe they're turning him into that. Maybe maybe they are. To like drain all the like the memories. innocence. Yeah, <laughs> memories, and then turn him into like a rock star. They did make Axl Rose into a monster. That's true. TV, right here it goes, right there. Mm -hmm. Sit standing right in front of the same TVs. I remember Slash was under. He was drinking a bottle of whiskey or whatever, and that's where Slash was. And now this is him all that time later. That's pretty cool, I think, the way they captured that. Like, you, you find, you know, Axel Rose starts off with this innocent little kid with a piece of wheat in his mouth. I'm going to say it for the fourth time, I am, because I'm going to highlight that. But then he turns into this guy. Good song, though. I'm telling you, Dre, for me, that's one of my that's one of my favorite songs. Yeah. That's one of my favorite songs. A lot of Guns N' Roses songs are one of my favorite songs, but you know that I remember when I was a kid, they first came out and they were controversial. Like you know, my mama didn't want me listening to this because there was, I guess, a little... Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like it was just sound. dangerous. Yeah, it was dangerous. It was dangerous for kids to listen to, I guess, back then, but... Um, I don't and know, I love it. like, okay for you to watch it, but I don't know about me. Yeah. Well, I'm an old man, and I believe in letting my kids see what they're going to see. You could see it anyway. So I might as well sit here and watch it with you. But it's good music. There's really no bad message to it. It's just saying, hey, this is, you know, this is what life can be like if you go to certain parts of the city. <laughs> That's my opinion. So, look, man, I'm glad y'all came here today. You know, happy Father's Day to all the, all the fathers that are taking care of their babies and sitting doing something with them important. Um, I appreciate y'all. Everybody appreciates y'all. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your homies, do all of that. I appreciate you coming back to lose you in. Notification bell. Hit that bell, man. Right now. Yeah. That way you can see all the new videos coming up. Who knows? Next time I'll have my son on. It and might then be. And have food. Yeah. <laughs> Stop playing. Hey, thank you for coming to Luchi Land. Have a great day. <laughs> well, have a great rest of your day. Yes. We appreciate y'all coming. I appreciate the views. I appreciate my subscribers. Thank you for leaving me the comments, telling me everything about what's going on. Thank you for telling me what you want to see. We'll be back. I'll see you next time.